Hey, welcome back to the Vintage Model Company. This is a quick video showing you how to cover your model aeroplanes with nothing more than covering tape. These are really the perfect way to cover our new Balsa Basics planes, such as this, the new Balsa Baron. This is the second plane in the series. The first one was the Simple Cub. The good thing is that these planes are nice and affordable, and we wanted to increase their affordability by uh, providing a covering solution that wasn't using tissue paper, but wasn't using expensive uh, professional modeling materials either. And it turns out that packaging tape, or colored packaging tape to be specific, results, as you can see here, in a really good looking airframe that uh, is robust and also very quick to, uh, to put together. Okay, enough rambling, let's cover a wing and see how easy it really is. Okay, the first thing to do is to sand the airframe component so that they're all nice and smooth because you don't want any of these knobbly bits uh, from the tabs sticking out and ruining the nice smooth finish of the, uh, the covering. So yeah, let's do that now. So with this you just want to sand quite nice and uh, lightly and go in the direction of the grain. Um, so don't be going across like this re really aggressively because you might snap some of these thinner pieces of wood. It doesn't take too long. You might want to spend more time on the edges to make sure that they're nice and curved and therefore you'll get a, a nice airflow going over the wing, but it's up to you. It'll still fly if it's blunt like this. It's not going to affect it that much. We're not making a space shuttle here. This sandpaper is a little bit wobbly, so you might want to make a sanding block. There is a full dedicated video on sanding that I will link uh, up here somewhere, so check that out. To start with, I'm going to show you how to cover the aileron because it's nice and flat. Uh, and a good starting point. So to start with, we're just going to sort of measure a piece of tape by pulling it out like that. So this one almost goes over the entire thing. It's almost wide enough, but we're gonna need two pieces. So I'm gonna cut two pieces that are about this length. I'm gonna measure that again. And this is where the card comes in. I'm gonna take this piece, just roughly lay it over the top. When the piece is down, you can start to sort of smooth the air bubbles out. I like to do this kind of pattern because it seems to uh, scrape all of the air out of the sides of the tape rather than just pushing it along. You don't have to push very hard, you just sort of go across like that and just smooth out any wrinkles with your, with your finger. Now we can put the next piece on. We've got a little bit of an overlap there of about a millimeter just to make sure it is actually covered. Now what we can do is go along the edge. I like to leave a bit of a, of a perimeter. Now you can just smooth the edges out like that. Now this edge is going to be a bit complicated, so what I like to do is just make some score cuts in the uh, in the tape like this. And now there are some cuts in there, they can sort of roll around easier. Now obviously you can spend a bit of time on this and make it look a bit prettier than I'm doing right now. But uh, yeah, once this is all pinned back like this, you can put some more tape on the top and that will secure all of those edges from uh, from coming undone again. Using a sharp knife here would be uh, preferable. <laughs> I've not really got a sharp knife on me at the moment, but uh, I'm trying my best. Okay, we've got the finished aileron here. That looks pretty good. So let's move on to this wing to show you how to cover a structure with lots of holes in it. So with the wing, it's the same process really. You're going to be taking bits of tape, measuring them and sticking them over the top. The only difference is that we're going to have to make sure it's nice and tight over the entire structure. Um, and you're not going to be spreading it so much with a, with a card. Alright, so there's one layer down. Um, I've made sure to sort of run it up to the edges and to uh, keep it nice and tight over each one of these ribs. Um, you can sort of run your finger over each one to make sure that it's uh, actually stuck down to it. But yeah, as you can see with this, the tension's pretty good. Um, so now we're just going to do the rest and just strip, strip, strip. Okay, now we've got the whole thing sort of covered, we can uh, roll the edges over the leading and trailing edges and the wing tips. These corner bits with the compound curves can be a bit tricky, but just do your best to sort of uh, get it nice and smooth. And also try to make sure that there's no gaps in the, uh, the layers of tape. You can sort of run your finger over these uh, overlaps like this. Okay, with the tape on the top and the bottom, the wing is now flyable. If you tap it like this, you can see that it's uh, 
nice and tight, but we're going to tighten it a little bit further with the heat gun. Now you have to be quite careful when using a heat gun like this because it is quite hot and it will melt this fairly easily, much more easily than it would with standard aura cover or some sort of professional uh, covering material. As a hairdryer actually produces less heat than this thing, um, we'd probably recommend that you use that over a professional heat gun. So don't go out and buy one of these specially, just use a hairdryer to shrink the surface that little bit extra. Now if you follow all the steps in this video, you can come out with a result that looks just like this. Believe it or not, this is completely covered with tape. If you look closely, you can see a few little wrinkles here and there, and where the, uh, the overlap seams are. And this is literally a piece of paper with some black tape on it to make a decal. So if you want to go this basic, you can get some good results literally from a, a piece of tape that costs you next to nothing. And just for your reference, this is a cub fuselage covered in aura cover, and this is the Baron covered in packaging tape. So, fairly similar in the long run. All right, that's about it from this Vintage Model Company tutorial video. Make sure to tune in next time for another one. Cheers.